Hi, I'm Jack Ong. I was born in Mesa, Arizona in 1940 to immigrant parents, both of whom had to have come through Angel Island. Growing up in Mesa, Arizona was a fairly painful experience for all of us. There was a lot of prejudice directed against us. We were one of very few, a handful of Chinese American families. My assignment from CAM was to uh, tell my mother's story, her experiences rather, on Angel Island. I photocopied her vaccination certificate. I wanted to have an early photograph of my mom. Then I found an entire family photo at the grand opening of our second grocery store in, back in Mesa, Arizona. And that's the story of this shadow box display. I was kind of a rah-rah kid trying to overachieve in order to feel like I fit in more. So I graduated from high school in 1958, graduated from Arizona State with a BA in journalism and a minor in drama and advertising in 1962. Had my little Volkswagen packed up and headed for the bright lights of Los Angeles in, right after graduating in 1962. I was really blessed to get cast in a a movie that ended up to be a, an NBC movie of the week called When the North Wind Blows. That was in the late 70s. I was already working in advertising and marketing, never thinking I would ever be able to become a, an actor, a professional actor, even though I really wanted to. Um, but that was my first movie. Then met Bessie Lou shortly thereafter. She got me MC jobs to help me, you know, to, to bring out my, uh, my natural instinct. And uh, that was the kind of agent, that was the kind of lady Bessie Lou was. One of the first things I learned uh, when Beulah Quo, you know, uh, attacked me coming into my office was about East West Players. I became quite involved and worked on a couple of productions, uh, co-produced Merrily We Roll Along, and then worked on the new theater campaign, raising the money to build in Little Tokyo. And that's when I really got to knew, know Beulah Kuo and her co-chair, George Takei. I think we made quite a team, that new theater campaign, to go around raising money and doing so many things to raise money to build the uh, David Henry Wong Theater in uh, Little Tokyo. And in that new theater, I was privileged to be cast in Follies, Stephen Sondheim's musical. Oh, the talent, Frida Fo Shen, Amy Hill, Deb Nishimura, just, uh, just Robert Almodovar, Alvin Ng, of course. So many of us, a huge cast, right? Huge cast. And I got to play a small part with this huge cast. And every night, or how many performances? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, two performances Saturday, one performance Sunday. I could be in my dressing room or standing in the wings and listening to this fabulous music by Stephen Sondheim. Uh, Follies was always my favorite Sondheim musical, and so that was my, that was my favorite East West Players thing. I had no idea all the facts, and especially the facts as told by someone who lived and suffered at the hands of the Khmer Rouge. And by this time, Hang Nor knew I was a minister. He knew what he was doing. I need your help. We must restore my homeland. Uh, I came home from the Sri Lanka experience, which was wonderful. I petitioned my church, and we began what we called, I called in those days, Project Cambodia, to help as much as we could to re rebuild the infrastructure of a war-devastated nation. That became the Dr. Hang S. Noor Foundation. My main thrust in SAG was to chair the Asian Pacific Caucus, to fight for equality for Asian Americans uh, in the media. And that's been kind of a lifelong mission for me too. There are more opportunities for acting opportunities on camera for uh, Chinese American actors. Uh, many more than there were. Sadly, the roles remain about the same. As soon as there's a Chinatown episode, you just know it's going to be triads and gangs. I, I, but you know, the reason is because why should we expect non-Chinese to write the Chinese American experience? We need writers, we need producers, we need uh, people 
behind the cameras and behind the scenes to champion projects about, not full moves maybe, but there, why shouldn't there be? But, you know, that hasn't happened yet. But we are struggling, we are, we are fighting. I remember my first picket line uh, protesting against the stereotyping in The Year of the Dragon, starring that supremely talented Mr. John Lone. And, uh, you know, The Last Emperor. I mean, what a talent. He deserves much, much more. But that's, you know, that's the state of the art now. And we will, we will continue the fight.